Mills Young here, part of Pick Dogs, aka MMA Locker Room. Now let's see which fights are going to finish and which fights are going to go the distance. All right, UFC Mexico is going down this week and Saturday on UFC uh, ESPN+. Plus. We got a lot of fights to talk about. I already went over all my predictions. Now, I'm going to go over a few of the fights that I like on there. Go over the overs and unders and see how we can make some money and see if these fights are going to finish or go the distance. All right. Now, look, man. Before we do that, though, I need all you guys, man. Hit that like button for me one time, man. There we go. Hit it one more time. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys did last week on the UFC. Uh... Fights finish and I go the distance video. I gave you guys out two parlays and they both cash. Uh, Cage Warriors parlay that was minus 120. Then I gave you guys my lottery pick parlay that was a plus 700. All right, now look, man, let's go ahead and get it started. I'm starting off with the main event, Brandon Moreno versus Brandon Roy Val. It's going to be a rematch and a fight that both these fighters already are familiar with each other. The over and under is at uh, three and a half at minus 140. In this one, I think both fights are durable. I don't think anybody's going to go out there and try to finish them within the first uh, 10 minutes. I do like the over three and a half at a minus 140 for the main event. The co-main event... Brian Ortega versus Yara Rodriguez, <laughs> another rematch, man, in a fight that was, it was getting going, man, it didn't even get past the first round uh, in there, uh, but Brian Ortega's coming off a one-year layoff in here, the over two and a half is at a minus 140, the under is a plus 110 in here, um, co-main event time, I don't think nobody's gonna be rushing to the window in here to bet the under in here, I actually like the over and I agree with this, so I'm gonna be taking the over two and a half in that fight. And then the next fight that I like, Daniel Zell Huber versus Francisco Prada. The over two and a half is at a minus 120 in here. I actually think Zell Huber will probably win by decision, so I do lean to the over two and a half in that one. Uh, Raul Rojas Jr. taking on Ricky Turquios. This one's tricky, man. The over two and a five is a little bit juiced at 155. I've been back and forth on this one because I think Rojas can submit them but i don't know if it's going to be early on or later on in the rounds um so i would say i do agree with the over two and a half even though it is chalked in there um but i am going to be looking to play rojas jr to win inside the distance in that one okay next fight on the card manuel torres taking on chris duncan i mean this one the over 1.5 is a plus 150. The under 1.5 is a minus 200. Folks, Manuel Torres hasn't been out the first round and none of his UFC fights. And Chris Duncan's a guy that, you know, uh, you know, sometimes he can get wobbled a little bit and they say his chin is chinny. But I, I would have to go with the under 1.5 in this one, man, just off the violence and everything that we've seen uh, from uh, Manuel Torres in there, okay? And then the next fight on the card I'm going to be talking about I'll go with uh, Muhammad Naimov versus Eric Silva. The under one, uh, 2.5 is a minus 155. I think that one hits. Uh, Muhammad Naimov is one of those guys to where he packs power uh, late in the rounds. And Eric Silva is on a one and a half, two year layoff, you know, uh, in that gas tank and in, in that high altitude at Mexico City is going to play a factor. I like the under two and a half in that one for sure. Okay, now look, man, I'm going to give you guys a, a, a lottery pick parlay that I like on here, and then uh, we'll close it out on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and take Free Zion. That's one leg down. And then we're going to take uh, Rahul Rojas Jr. That's another leg down. Um, and then we're going to take Brandon Moreno. Uh, that's my three-leg parlay to get you guys paid, okay? Now, look, if you guys want to see what I'm betting on, my best bets, head on over to the site, Pick Dogs. We got it all up there for you. I got my premium packs up there. I got my uh, best uh, round props up there for you, too, as well. So, hey, man, let's keep it going over here, okay? Now, let me know what you guys are betting on. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button for me. Let me know what fights you think are going to finish and what fights aren't going to go the distance. All right, Mills Young here, part of Pick Dogs. If you can't roll with the Pick Dogs, stay on the porch.